the top four credit reporting agencies outside of Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. What up? You got Mr. Smith, 0.5 of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And in this brief video, I want to talk about the other credit reporting agencies that many people aren't telling you and talking to you about. Now, there are more. In fact, there are 50 plus. And I say that these are the top four, but it may be some that are, you know, right there neck and neck. And some people may put it in their top four. But I'm going to put these in my top four as it relates to credit reporting agencies outside of what you may be familiar with and why it's important. Because a lot of times if you focus on what they put in front of you, then you miss on the things that they're not telling you about, which is having a direct effect on what's in front of you. And that's applicable to everything you see. You know, in the world, sometimes they give you, it's like magic. They give you one thing in front of it, so you focus on this, but you miss out on what's happening in the background, and it's a direct effect of what's happening right in front of you, whether you know it or not. And that happens in many cases. But let's stick to the credit. Don't want to get too, off, too far off course, shall we? Now, most people know about Experian, Equifax, TransUnion. Those are the bureaus that you look at when you're trying to restore your credit, when you're trying to dispute items, when you're trying to determine if you qualify or may qualify for certain things. And we teach people strategies and things they can do to better their credit. We help people restore their credit. We get hundreds of items deleted off of reports, maybe thousands by now. But, uh, you know, we, we help people restore their credit. But sometimes if a person is restoring their credit themselves, they run into a couple of different hiccups. Now, it could be, you know, your verbiage on your letters could be shifted. It could be the strategy that you use to talk directly to the creditors. It could be some of the things that, you know, you are doing. You just got to be more persistent with it until it results in the result that you're seeking. However, these other credit reporting agencies can possibly help you hit that goal Faster. So what are the other top four and what does that have to do with anything? So let's talk about what it has to do with what I'm about to say. You see, many times the credit reporting agencies that you know of, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, are getting their information from someone else. So if they're getting their information from someone else, then somebody is playing the middleman. So you might want to figure out how to handle where they're getting their information from. So when you address them, the chances of you getting the result that you want is heightened. What am I talking about? Well, the top four, and I'll list them real quick in no particular order. And I'm sure you've at least heard of one of them. You just didn't realize that it has something to do with your credit score the way that it does. Number one is LexisNexis. Many people have uh, heard of LexisNexis. And this is not to say LexisNexis is the cream of the crop, but many people have at least heard of LexisNexis as it relates to searching for your data. Another one is CoreLogic. Another one is Innovus. And another one is SageStream. So I'm putting those as the top four credit reporting agencies outside of the ones you may be familiar with. So why is that significant? Well, if they're getting their information from these companies, then you want to make sure you understand how to control these companies so they're not falsely reporting your information unnecessarily in a way that affects your score because a lot of times they're getting this information from these four entities and the information they have may be inaccurate it may be incomplete it may be uh false altogether fraud altogether it may be accurate but you need them to verify the accuracy of it so sometimes a matter of you going through the credit dispute and process may not just be you sending the letters to the bureau, although that does result in results. I get results pretty much every time I refresh my screen, something positive has taken place that whether it be a deletion, someone's updated to positive, something, somebody's score has increased. So we get those results, but it can be enhanced if you understand how to control those main four. So how can you control them? One of the things that you can do is figure out how to go about putting a freeze on those accounts. Basically, putting a freeze on those accounts positions you to talk directly to the credit bureau. And then when they try to get information from somebody that you didn't give uh, the OK or the green light or permission to share your information, now they're, they're at a dead end because they're like, oh, my middleman is gone. I don't have any information to get from them. So now they are not able to verify certain things that may be inaccurate. They're not able to prove that some things belong to you. And if they can't prove it, they have to remove it. 
And it all starts with you understanding the credit disputing process. And those big four play a huge part in it as it relates to you controlling your credit. So get familiar with those other credit reporting agencies. Like I said, it's 50 plus. I just wanted to give you the top four just to not overcomplicate it, have you overthinking it, and just get you on track to understanding mm-hmm. that there are other strategies and things you can do in order to restore your credit. It just all boils down to knowledge and understanding. And if it's any way that we can benefit you, reach out. We don't mind assisting you. Click the link below. We got a ton of um, things that you can use in order to restore your credit. Some pay, some free. So we got free credit class, free crash course, but we also have a paid DIY. You can also set up a consultation if you want to hire us to restore your credit on your behalf. There are also other resources that you can tap into that can help you do certain things to boost your own credit and establish and build a solid credit foundation. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully you find the information down below helpful. And if you like what you hear, then definitely subscribe. Consider hitting that bell notification so you don't miss out on anything. We specifically talk about financial literacy and how it connects to you, your personal finances, business, things of that nature. So if you like that type of message and information, and we also give away credit letters and things of that nature, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this with somebody who you feel may benefit. That's all I got. Mr. Smith, signing out. Salute.